Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's intensive math class. Today we are going to be talking about rounding, adding, and subtracting whole numbers. Okay? Let's first talk about the procedure for rounding whole numbers, guys. Number one, locate the number in the correct place value being rounded and underline that number. For example, if I were to give you 35,227 and I say round this to the hundreds place, remember we already learned how to read numbers, where's the hundreds place here? This, this uh, last two, of the this two, very good. So, again, locate the number in the correct place value being rounded and underline that number. Perfection. Does that make sense so far, my brothers? Yes. Awesome. Number two, look at the number to the right of the number being rounded. That's the underlying number. So again, let me go ahead and do this for you guys. Let me copy this. Or actually, let me just clone it. Okay. So step two. Look at the number to the right of the number being rounded, which is the underlying number. So here's the underlying number. You're going to look at the number to the right of it. Does that make sense? You promise? Yes, yes. Awesome. Step three. If the number to the right of the number being rounded is less than five, that means it's either four, three, two, or one, simply keep the number being rounded the same and make all of the numbers to the right of the number being rounded zeros. I'm going to show you right now, but I like that. When people go, oh, that means that they're learning. I'm proud of you. All right, so let's check this out. We underlined the number that we were trying to round, which was the 2. You look at the number to the right. If the number is less than 5, you keep that number, so it would be 35,000 and then you drop everything to the right to zeros. Fantastic. Does that make sense, my brothers? Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay, so now, let's uh, look at the second half of rounding, okay? Let's pretend that instead of having 35,227, let's do 35,000... 267 and I and I still want the rounding to the hundreds place so I'm going to underline the two I'm still going to look at the number to the right but now if here's the second part of it if the number to the right of the number being rounded is five or greater Simply increase the number being rounded by 1 and make all the numbers to the right of the number being rounded zeros. So in this case, I have 35,267. I, I underline the 2, look at the, at the number to the right. That's larger than 5, so it goes up to a 3. And then you put zeros. Very good. So that'd be 35,300. This number went up by one, and these numbers dropped to zeros. Does that make sense, my brothers? Awesome. Give me one sec. Okay, thank you guys. Now let's continue. Let's do some practice now. Round each number to the place indicated. So this number here is 8,632,051. They want to round the, the millions here. So go ahead, my brother. What number am I going to look at? I'm going to look at the number to the right, which is a 6. 
That's exactly correct. Since the six is lar is five or larger, this eight becomes a nine, and all of the numbers to the right of the number being rounded become zeros. Excellent. How about number two? Twenty-five million nine hundred fifty-two thousand nine hundred thirty-eight. I am rounding to the hundred thousands here. So I'm going to look at the number to the right of the number being rounded. That number is a five, so what's going to happen here? That's exactly correct. This nine is going to become a ten, but you can't put ten in there, so you got to add this one to the five here. So what's going to happen here, again, the nine is being rounded. I look to the right. This nine has to go up to ten. So that means I got to borrow that ten over. I got to bring it over, becoming 26 million. Everything else to the right of it becomes a zero. Number three, I have 803,119. I'm rounding it to the hundreds place. I look at the number to the right of it. It's less than five, right? So what does this number become, my brother? 803,000. No, 803,000. 100. If the number to the right of the number being rounded is less than 5, you keep it the same. And then all the numbers to the right of it become zeros. All right, let's, let's keep going here, my brothers. 73,693. I'm rounding to the 10 thousands. I'm going to look at the number to the right. Is that number to the right Larger than 5 or less than 5? Yes, sir. It's less than 5. Okay. Phenomenal. It's less than 5, so that means... No, it's not going to be... Se yes, it's going to be 70,000. Yeah, absolutely. Because the number stays the same, and everything else goes to zeros. Perfection. Perfection. Well done, son. Let us continue. This is 2,461,612,248. Um, I, this is at the billions. He had his hand up first. What is this round to? I'm looking at the four here. It's going to be two billion. That's exactly correct. It's a four, so it's less than five. So that means that it stays the same, and all the other numbers go to zero. Number six. We got 70, 789 million. 132,377. My boy, I, I'm rounding this, the uh, 100 millions. I'm looking to the right. What does this become, my brother? No. Why would it be nine? No. There you go. 800 million. Great job, son. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Okay, now. For this next set of questions, my friends, we have to actually underline the right place value. So I have 9,885,659,260. I want to round to the billions. The billions is right here. I'm looking at the number to the right, which is larger than 5. So this becomes 10 billion. Very good. Very excellent. Very excellent. Next, I've got 2,628,259. I want to round to the thousands. Which number here is in the thousands? Yes, sir. The eight. Beautiful. I'm going to look at the number to the right. Is that number less than five or, 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 or greater than five? So what happens to the eight? Does it stay the same or does it go up by one? stays the same. So I got 2,628,000 and everything to the right of the number being rounded turns to zeros. Next. Bless you. 347,168. I want to round to the 10,000s. What number is the 10,000s, my brother? Four. Excellent. I'm going to look at the number to the right. Eight times two, three, five, three hundred, three hundred. Go, go ahead. Take your time. You're doing great. Perfect, son. This 7 is larger than 5, so this 4 goes up to a 5, becoming 350, 
thousand. Beautiful. You did great, man. Don't worry. You're doing great. Okay, nine billion seven hundred twenty-seven million three hundred twenty-two thousand fifty-four. They want to round to the billions. Where's the billions here? The nine. I'm looking to the right. What does this become since that's a seven? Ten billion. Phenomenal. Excellent. Excellent. One million three hundred ninety-nine thousand. 179. Where is the thousands here, my man? That is this nine. Well done. Yeah, I knew which one you meant. Thank you. Okay, I'm looking at the number to the right of it. So what does this become? If one million? Three hundred ninety-nine thousand. Thank you. Since this was a one to the right of the number being rounded. It wasn't big enough to make it go up. Great job. The 9 stays the same. Everything to the right of it goes to zeros. Okay? And last but not least, 271,156,694. Talk to me, my man. Where's the million here? This one or this one? Good man. Excellent. This one. I'm going to look at the number to the right. Well done. You explained it great. It's less than five, so the one stays the same, and everything drops to zeros, becoming 271 million. Does that make sense, boys? Yes, sir. You promise? Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. Now, these skills are going to be used sometimes when you're adding and subtracting numbers. For example, add 2,356 plus 1,554, and round the sum to the nearest hundreds place. Let's remember that sum means the answer to an addition problem, okay? Sum means the answer to an addition problem. So let's do it. 2,356 plus 1,554. Okay, so I've got a 0, 1, 1, 1, 9, 3. Everyone saw that? Okay, so what am I rounding? What number am I rounding here, my brother? The nine hundreds. I look at the one to the right. What does this rounded number become? 39,000. 39, no, not 39,000. Nope, sorry. 3,900. Beautiful. Way to go, man. Good catch. Excellent. Does that make sense, my brothers? Okay. May I continue, my brothers? Promise? Okay. Let us continue. Let's add 1,286 plus 492. And I want to round this to the nearest tens place. 6 plus 2 is 8. We'll come back right after the prayer. Okay, guys, so we have 1,286 plus 492, all right? This is going to be an 8, 17, carry the 1, 7, 1. I want to round it to the tens place. Where's the 10 here? Yes, sir. Okay, this first 7 here. I'm looking at the 8 to round. What does my rounded answer become, my brother? Come on. Nope, you said and. That is wrong. That is wrong. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's wrong. Sir, 1,780. No ands. 1,780. And is only for decimals. Okay, let us continue. Now I want to subtract 6,014. Minus 2,999. Okay. Let's, let's first go over this to make sure, just in case people don't know how to borrow or don't remember. Okay. I can't take 9 away from 4, so I borrow 1 from the tens place, making it a 0. And I add 10 to this 1's place, making that a 14. So now it's 14 minus 9. 5. 
Now I have a zero here, so I have to borrow from this zero, make a nine, making this a ten. Okay? So ten minus nine is one. Nine minus nine is zero. But since I borrow from a zero, I must borrow from the next number, making that a three. Okay? And I want to round to the nearest thousands. Where's the thousands here? Three. The three. Excellent. So I gotta look to the right. What is this gonna be rounded? 3,000. Excellent. Excellent. And last but definitely not least, we've got 70,000 minus 15,286. Okay, I got, I got a zero here, so I got to borrow this to make it a nine, making this a ten. Ten minus six is four. Nine minus eight is one. But since I borrow from a zero, I gotta borrow again. Nine minus two is seven. Excellent. But since I borrow from a zero, I gotta borrow again. Making that a nine. Nine minus five is four. Excellent. But since I borrow from a zero, I gotta borrow again, making that a six. And six minus one is five. I'm rounding to the nearest ten thousands. Where's the ten thousands here? Sir? The five. I look to the right. What does this come out to be rounded? What is it? 50,000 on the money because the five stays the same and everything else turns to zeros. Thank you so very much. I hope you learned a lot today and have a great, great day.